everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Dovey and today I'm going to show you how I made this balloon in Photoshop. I am using the Photoshop CC uh, 2017. Um, so if you want to watch how I make this balloon then continue watching. So to get started I'm going to go up here to the file menu and select new. And um, the width and height at 3 inches by 3 inches is fine. I do want the resolution to be at 300 and the background to be transparent. And then I'm going to select Create. I'm going to name this layer over here on my right hand side of the screen in the Layers palette. Um, you'll double click that and I'm going to name it Balloon. And I'm going to come over here to the left hand side of my screen and I'm going to select the shape, custom shape tool. Um, it might be, sh it might show a rectangle or rounded rectangle. Just right click on it and it will fly out the menu and you can select the custom shape tool. Now going up to the top part of your screen are the actual shapes. And I am going to select the circle tool. And I do have my color set to purple. And I'm just going to drag, push down my left mouse button and drag out the circle. I'm not going to make it a complete circle, um, even circle, because I want it to be more of an oval shape. And I am happy with that um, shape for a balloon. Now I'm going to select a new layer. You can either select a new layer by um, creating a new layer by pushing this button over here right beside the little trash can in your layers palette or you can create a new layer by going up to the layer at the top part of the screen in the options menu and then select new and then select layer. I'm going to name this layer balloon 2 and drag that by holding down my left uh, mouse button and bringing it um, underneath the balloon layer. Now going back over to my custom shape tool I am going to select that and come back up here to the shapes and select the triangle. There we go and double click it. And I'm going to just zoom in a bit here and I'm going to just drag out a triangle shape at the bottom of my balloon. I'm going to go to my move tool at the top left hand um, on the left hand side menu at the very top button and just kind of center that on the balloon. Now to make sure that this bottom part of the balloon is centered with the top part of the balloon I am going to hold down my shift button and select both layers in the um, layers palette over here. And I'm going to go up to the top part of my screen and select the uh, line horizontal centers button to align them. Okay, and that has been aligned. And now I'm just going to merge those two shapes together by right clicking. Um, they're both um, selected. I'm going to right click over on my layers palette, one of the layers, and just select merge shapes. So now the balloon is in one shape. Now going, make sure that that um, balloon layer is selected in the layers palette. Come over here to make sure the custom shape tool is um, selected and go up here to the edit menu, scroll down to where it says define custom shape and select that. And I'm going to name this as balloon and then select OK. So now we will have a balloon shape in the very bottom of our shape um, palette now. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see it down here. Um, the balloon. So now to use that balloon shape I'm just going to go over here and select a new layer and I'm going to go ahead and just delete this balloon layer because I don't need it anymore and I'm going to rename this layer as balloon. I'm just going to kind of scroll in just a bit more here and I'm going to make sure my color is the purple color that I want and I am using the shade of B36AF8 Okay, and I'm going to make sure that my custom shape tool is selected and I'm going to go up here to the shape tool and make sure that the balloon is selected and double click that. Now 
to give this balloon a little bit of character, I'm coming up here to the top part of my screen here, and I'm going to cl um, click on the fill box. And I'm going to scroll over to the gradient fill, which is the third box over, and select that. And here I'm going to make sure that my colors are what color I want the balloon to be. So the first color stop, I, it is the purple color. And the second color stop, I am going to double click that color stop. And I'm just going to go ahead and make click the purple color down here. And make it just a bit lighter of a purple shade. And that color will be CE9BFD and select OK. Now holding down the shift button, I'm going to drag out my balloon shape. And I'm going to use my move tool to just kind of move it into the middle of the screen here. And scroll in so you can see this a bit better. So you can see on this balloon how it's a bit lighter at the bottom and a bit darker at the top. Well, that's not really how the light hits the balloon. It kind of it hits it more from the top. So we're going to change the way that gradient fill is on the balloon. So go over here to your right hand side of the screen again in your layers palette and double click this little square that you will see on the layer thumbnail. And it will pop open the gradient fill options. And I'm going to select for the style to be a radial. The angle we're just going to leave that for right now. But the scale, I don't want it to be that big, so I'm going to change it to be about 50%. Now I'm going to take my, um, you know, my mouse button, left click, and just move that radial um, gradient fill to more towards the top of the balloon. There we go. And that looks great. And now I'm just going to select OK. And as you can see, now the balloon has a bit of a highlight at the top part of the balloon. Okay, so I'm going to, I, I don't think that I want this balloon to be this big because I do want to add a string to it, so I'm just going to make it a bit smaller now. And I'm going to select a shift button and just kind of drag in one of the corners to make the balloon just a bit smaller. And I'm going to select OK. Now I'm going to add another layer into my layers palette and I'm going to rename that as string. And I'm going to just bring that layer down underneath the balloon layer by left clicking and dragging it. I'm going to go up here to my pin tool over to the left hand side of the screen. And I'm going to go up here and select my click on the fill button. And I don't want it to be filled um, so I'm going to select the white box that has the um, red marking through it, which means no color. And the stroke, I'm going to set it to black. This way you can see it um, instead of using white. And I'm going to set the points to be about four points and select enter. Okay, so let's start with drawing out the um, string. So I'm just going to left click with my um, pin tool um, selected, I'm going to left click to start my string. Okay, and then I'm just going to hold down the left button as I drag out a shape of a string. And actually that string is just a bit wide, so I'm going to come back up here to the point and just select maybe two and see what two looks like. And I'm going to select my move tool and just kind of move it over into the middle. Oops, not what I want. So I'm just going to move it over to be centered in the balloon there by using my right move tool. Oh, let's make sure that the string layer is selected. Just kind of move it to the middle of that um, bottom part of the balloon there. And now you can save this as a PSD file. That way you can reopen it up and you can actually change your balloon color. So it's really simple to change the balloon color. You would just go back into double click the um, square on your balloon um, layer, um, select the gradient um, color here, and then you can select the color stop and just change your colors. Let's make it a pretty pink color. Okay, and then you will select the second color stop color. And I'm just going to click that pink there and then just make it a bit lighter here. 
and then select OK, and then select OK. And now your balloon is pink. Your image now, you will just go over to your layers palette and then select Merge Visible. It will merge both of your um, shapes together there. And then you will come up to File, and if you click Save As, if you save it as a PNG, it'll actually, oh, let's name that balloon. When you reopen it, um, smallest will be fine, and then select OK. Now when you reopen it, um, in any of your other programs, say the background will stay transparent. Um, if you save it as a JPEG file, the background will um, turn white. So that is how you make a balloon in Photoshop. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more Photoshop video tutorials, then comment down below on what you would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my new videos. And thanks for watching. Bye.